delightful day grades 11, 12, and UCSP fanatics. Welcome to UCSP by Doncha, a diverse approach to understanding culture, society, and politics. I'm Teacher Don, and once again, we will learn more about the various concepts of culture. Let's recall our topic last time. It was about the characteristics of culture and aspects of culture as a complex whole, right? Here's the game, four picks, one word, as a review. You will see four pictures or images linked by one word. Your aim is to work out what the word is from a set of letters given below the pictures. I'll give you five seconds to answer each item. Ready for the first set of pictures? Well, here they are. Based on these images, we can infer that culture is learned. Is that your answer? That's right! One of the characteristics of culture is that it is learned. Next! Given these images or pictures, was your answer shared? That's correct. Culture is shared. Let's have this third set of pictures. If your answer is variety, then you're right. Culture has variety. Wow! It seems that you can still recall our previous lesson. That's great then. So I guess we can now move on to our topic for today. I have here some words, relativism, ethnocentrism, and ethnocentric. Are you familiar with them? Don't you worry, because in today's lesson, we will learn about them. And how would we do that? Let me bring you to our studio as we talk about these words. So what are we still waiting for? Ta-da! So you say SP by Doncha. In today's episode, we will meet and chat with a very important person who will share with us her expertise about culture, specifically cultural relativism and ethnocentrism. Our guest for today is one of the brilliant professors of Pangasinan State University main campus, a member of the Executive Council of the National Commission of Culture and the Arts, or NCCA, Vice President of Ulupana Pansansiay, Salitan, Pangasinan and an Orduha Film Festival Best Senior Actress Awardee for two consecutive years in 2018 and 2019. And she is also celebrating her 35th year in the teaching profession this year. She's none other than Professor Elnora B. Dudam. A pleasant day to you, ma'am. I am truly grateful and honored to have you here in our show. I'm happy to be here, and at the same time, I'm honored to. Good day to everyone. Thank you again, ma'am, for this opportunity, even with the short notice. Ma'am Elnora, I hope that you could share more details about yourself with us beyond that brief introduction. Okay, I am Mrs. Elnora Bidudang from Libsong East, Lingayn, Pangasinan. I am a science teacher at Pangasinan National, mm. at National High School for 10 years. Wow. And it's my 25th year of being a science teacher at Pangasinan State University, Lingayen Campus. That's wonderful to hear. Happy Teacher's Day, ma'am. And congratulations to your achievements in the teaching profession. You're such an inspiration to us teachers. By the way, I am currently a teacher for understanding culture, society, and politics. And one of the things that I'm discussing with my students right now is cultural relativism. Since you are a member of the prestigious NCCA Council, I would like to get your thoughts on this concept. Can I answer your question with a question? Because I was thinking, have you tried eating uh, fresh kangkong? Have you tried eating fried grasshoppers? What about fried crickets? What about dried uh, squid? I think I had it. <laughs> it's yucky. You don't like the idea, right? Yeah. Same with me. Actually, I was shocked when I saw these people eating this. Uh, what do you have in mind? Wow. 
nagugutom ba sila? Bakit kinakain nila yan? Mahirap ang Pilipinas, pero we do not eat this, this kind of foods. But then, when I talk about it na, I think about it na ganito, uh, instead of asking them or telling them they eat such kind of food, instead of commenting like that, why should I ask, why are they eating those foods? Probably, I could learn something from them that Uh, later on, I may find out whether there are nutrients in them. Then I've learned also that in Mexico, they are used to eat that uh, dried uh, squid, fried grasshoppers, because they believe that it adds nutrients to themselves and uh, they are being taken it as food thousand years ago, according to uh, research. If you could only accept who they are, we, we can... Uh, debate from the real self that we have, being judgmental, then actually, yes, you are very right. We are the cultural relativist. Hearing this definition from Mom Elnora, is the concept of being a cultural relativist clearer for all of us? I think so. With that said, ma'am, how can we practice cultural relativism in the way we looked at and think of other people? I could uh, recall this popular saying that goes, what is acceptable in a group of people may be good and acceptable in other group of people. Oftentimes, we are being judgmental, we are quick in judging certain aspects of culture of other people as uncivilized, yucky, right? But then, are uh, this group of people thinking the way we think about what they are doing? So, ano, ganito rin ba ang tingin nila sa atin pag kumakain tayo ng pinakbet? Ganito rin ba ang tingin nila sa atin pag nagkakamay tayo na kumakain? We should know the desired attitude, desired behavior on how we are going to accept these people that they have different cultures. Because actually, there are also people like us. As mentioned by Professor Elnora, we've come to learn that cultural relativism refers to not judging a culture based on your own standards of what is right or wrong, strange or normal. Instead, we should try to understand the cultural practices of other groups in their own cultural context. It is a belief that cultures are equally complex. There is no such thing as a superior or uninferior culture. It is a way of viewing the beliefs, values, and practices of a culture from its own viewpoint. Cultural relativism is seeing and believing that there is no such thing as right or good or wrong or bad cultures. People have various beliefs and practices. It is important for us to understand and respect the different ways and manners of other nationalities and accept the uniqueness of the Filipino traditions. And so a cultural relativist is someone who believes and sees culture as something with relative meaning. It does not judge other people's practices and understand that there is no such a thing as right or wrong, nor good or bad when it comes to culture. Now, how about the topic on ethnocentrism, ma'am? What is ethnocentrism? When you talk about ethnocentrism, it's one of the common characteristics of relations between different groups. Mm -hmm. When one holds more power, more privilege, or more resources, and these resources are being used in such a way that they will be more power and we have the time to dominate and marginalize others. How about those ethnocentric individuals? Um, how are we going to classify them or how would we know that it's an inter uh, ethnocentric individual? Ang alam ko dito, for those individuals who do not experience other culture in death, and that they feel that they, their life is in death and the most natural, the most normal, the best way of living, sila po ang alam ko na ethnocentric. These are the people who use their norms of culture to make generalizations about other culture. Mm -hmm. Sabi niya, oh, isang kultura nila hindi maganda, mas best yung atin, dapat yung atin. But it should not be. We try to understand them, we try to patronize 
whatever they can do to help us. We don't say with us, we do the same for them. And we believe that uh, the word this gaps will be eliminated also. With that said, ma'am, what then are the ill effects of ethnocentrism? Ah, this ethnocentrism really will go on in our culture. Uh, this will help build a strong belief that this culture is superior to others. So, and the mga sila lang yung superior. Ito superior din. So, magkakaroon ng tinatawag na conflict. Right? If this word will continue to proliferate in our culture, and uh, I, I believe conflict will grow bigger. Uh, one thing was that people perform high level of ego centrism. Believe sa sarili, mata sarili. Si ako, me, I, and myself. And another one is, it will affect the intercultural communication. Intercultural communication in a as shared by Professor Elnora Dudang, ethnocentrism is the belief that one's own culture is better than others. Ethnocentric people believe that one's culture is superior compared to others, and so they tend to bully and discriminate other people's cultures and practices and compare evaluate, and even judge other people's ways based on the values and standards set in their own culture. Don't you know that there are various ill or negative effects of ethnocentrism, such as discrimination, bullying, racism, and worst, genocide. We're somewhat familiar with the first three terms. Now how about genocide? An example of genocide was the behavior displayed by the Germans during the time of Adolf Hitler because they believed that they were a superior race. This led to the death of 6 million European Jews whom they considered as an inferior race. What then is the connection between cultural relativism and ethnocentrism? And also, why and how cultural relativism mitigates ethnocentrism? Actually, cultural relativism is to help bridge the gap between and among the Filipino communities. And to do this, uh, these uh, Filipino communities will be exposed and their, I guess, their indigenous knowledge and practices of these Filipino subcultures in such a way that they will be understand them. And this IKSP will help every Filipino to improve their way of living. Mm -hmm. And it will also help lessen, if not to eliminate, Filipino ethnocentric. Now, ma'am, can you share with us some messages to our viewers, especially the grades 11 and 12 learners that we have there out there? Yeah, so what I want to tell them is that they should observe the golden rule. Mm -hmm. They should do unto others what they want others to do unto them. If they want respect, they should show the respect in such a way that respect will be given to them. If they want love, they, they should uh, show love in such a way that they could read love also. Remember that love begets love. Uh, another thing is, they should be careful not to throw around charges of ethnocentrism yes. to try to discredit people with those views that they did agree and exercise the best of ethnocentrism in how to use to correct our own ethnocentric attitudes and behavior rather than that of others. And I also believe that every individual is unique. That's why we must respect everyone's uniqueness. Another, I want to share also what I've learned from the Bible, Masabi ng Panginoon, Pagmundignan ang maliit na puwing sa mata ng iba, but rather, tignan mo ang malaking muta sa iyong mga mata. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is, bawal ang judgmental. Absolutely. Kailangan nating bawasan ang maging judgmental. I-embrace natin ang kultura ng bawat ibang kulturang Pilipino para magkaibsa tayong lahat. Pag bumating yung pagkakataon na yon na 
hindi kayo judgmental, alam ko malaki ang maitutulong ninyo sa next generation na hahawakan ninyo. Sana may natutunan kayo at uh, maraming salamat. It's truly an honor and pleasure that you're here with us today. In addition to what Professor said, it is widely believed in the field of sociology that ethnocentric behavior may be mitigated through the recognition and application of cultural relativism. A person can practice cultural relativism by recognizing that culture shares what is considered to be beautiful, ugly, appealing, disgusting, virtuous, funny, and abhorrent, and that these should not be the basis for evaluating other cultures. Cultural relativism shapes our understanding of different issues in the society as to why certain religions believe in this and others do not. Or how come this group eat this type of dish, wears this weird clothing, sings, and dances along to music, while others prefer not to. Don't you know that what we need is an open heart and critical mind, exposure, education, and involvement in activities and programs supporting and recognizing the uniqueness and beauty of every culture for us to truly grasp what cultural relativism means. For your assignment, which you have to write in your UCSB modules or notebooks, let me introduce to you to the new hashtag, Bawal Judgmental. State your reasons why you beg to disagree with the given statements. You have to remember that you are a cultural relativist, meaning you have to place yourself in the shoes of other people in order to understand them better. Ilocanos are thrifty because they are poor. When you don't say po or opo, you are impolite. We have to avoid going to places like Sikihor or Kapis because monsters called aswangs infest these places. We will check your assignments in the next episode. Take note, once again, that culture is not good or bad. Neither it is right nor wrong, but instead it is relative. It's another day filled with new information and ideas, right? And we've come to see and realize that there is unity in diversity, or pagkakaisa sa kabila ng pagkakaiba-iba. And I guess this is where we will end for today because some endings are meant to happen. Don't you worry! We'll still see and learn more in our next episode, so be sure to always tune in. I'm Teacher Don, your host for today in UCSP by Doncha, a diverse approach to understanding culture, society, and politics. Till next time, guys and gals, see ya!